the Valley of Dry Bones. Ezekiel's vision of the Valley of Dry Bones, which came together, were clothed with sinews and then with skin, an exceeding great army is supposed to represent the resurrection of the dead. But this conjecture seems to be erroneous. The prophet declares that this picture represents the revival of Israel's hope. First, the dry bones of hope, then sinews of strength, and finally, comeliness and completion. We read, this is the whole house of Israel, which say, our hope of again becoming a nation is dry. We are cut off from our past. The fulfillment of this prediction seems to be in progress now amongst the Jewish people. Only a short time ago, they had no hope. Then came Zionism, the dry bones of hope for amelioration from suffering, but without any faith in the Abrahamic promise. Later, we see the Jews growing in trust in the Abrahamic promise and coming together with strength, wealth, and faith. The time is evidently not far distant when their national hope will be rehabilitated and they shall rejoice again as a people. The scriptures tell about the resurrection of the dead, that it will not be the body which dies that will be resurrected. The body returns to dust. In the morning of Messiah's reign, God through him will grant each of Adam's race a body as it hath pleased him. The saintly few will share in the first resurrection to glory, honor, and immortality, the divine nature, far above angels. Then will come God's blessing upon the world to give them restitution, earthly bodies. It is manifestly much easier for God to give, as he purposes, a new body than, as we once surmised, to gather each atom of dust from every quarter to restore it as the same body. Not a passage of scripture mentions the resurrection of the body, but many passages mention the resurrection of the soul, which will be awakened and given a new body, earthly for the earthly class, heavenly for the heavenly class. 